two drills to actually improve this skill and actually make it easy for your arms to come out around over the water on the recovery phase. Number one, how do you get your arms over the water in butterfly stroke? Vinod from YouTube, thank you so much for the question. This is one of the most challenging things about butterfly. It's so difficult because it's a short axis stroke, just like breaststroke. So in short axis versus long axis. So long axis is backstroke and freestyle. That means you're rotating or vertically with your spine as that center axis. It's actually a lot easier to work on the fundamentals of that stroke because you have symmetry while you're in streamline, while you're basically on your back or your stomach. Butterfly and breaststroke are much more difficult because you have to have this up and down undulating movement. And so with butterfly, you have to have your arms actually come out of the water on the recovery phase of every single stroke. What I tell swimmers, two drills to actually improve this skill and actually make it easy for your arms to come out around over the water on the recovery phase. Number one is thinking through the concept of having a power phase under the water. So you wanna be fast on the pull phase and you wanna be controlled on the recovery. So in butterfly, your arms don't move at a consistent speed all the way through the stroke. Instead, you actually wanna focus on having a lot of power and speed when your arms are under the water and they should actually move a little bit slower and more controlled over the water. I know that sounds counterintuitive and more difficult because you're struggling in the first place to get your arms over the water, but if you think about it, the most speed in the stroke comes from when your arms are pulling you forward. So you wanna maximize and leverage that as much as possible, and the rest is just floating. Your arms are floating back to the surface. So that's the first thing you can do. You can do that as a drill. You can do it as focus, 25s, where you focus on just getting your arms controlled and just angel arms floating over the surface of the water, and then they meet right in front of your shoulder. Your hands do not meet, they're, they're about shoulder width, and that's when you start the pull phase underneath the water. The second thing you can do, there are a few drills that really emphasize that. So you're doing butterfly arms with a freestyle kick. This is gonna flatten your stroke, but it's gonna allow you to get more propulsion and you can focus on this concept of swimming with power on the under. When your arms are underwater, you're swimming and pulling with power and then your arms are basically floating on the return. And the reason why you can do this a little bit easier with the drill is if you wear fins because you're gonna have consistent propulsion moving you forward. So this drill and others are available in the MySwim Pro app. So if you're looking for drills, if you're looking for personalized workouts, the MySwim Pro app is available on iPhone, Android. Get a personalized training plan, including drills just like that butterfly one I mentioned. Hope you guys are having a great day. Happy swimming. Let me know what questions you have down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.